that is so foreign that you've never been to before, yet it's, it feels very familiar. You know, you come back with this new sense of ownership over this planet, like we were home. NASA's Anne McLean, alongside fellow astronaut Nick Haig, chatting with us after their crew debrief. Till now, we've only really heard from them via satellite chats while they were on the International Space Station. We had multiple celebrities and congressmen, people of all different nationalities, coming and talking to us. And what always struck me is, the space program just makes everybody go, wow. Among those admirers was Brad Pitt, who chatted with Haig earlier this year about Pitt's role in the film Ad Astra. It was fun to, to speak with him and to get his perspective because he does tell stories. You know, those stories serve to inspire the future generations of space explorers. And so just having the opportunity to be able to say thank you for energizing the youth and getting them to pursue, you know, fields in STEM for, for things that they want to study in school was something that I, uh, you know, I was very thankful to have the opportunity for. Haig expressed gratitude for the many Houstonians at NASA who helped make his aborted launch a lot less frightening than you might think. Everything that we experienced was something that I had experienced for the first time during training. So I think the training program is really robust. For that, I've got to give a lot of, a lot of kudos to the, the training team here as well as the, the rest of the team spread across the globe. They get us prepared to fly. We're the first launch after Nick's abort, so if anything, uh, we just kind of went in with a heightened perspective of what could possibly happen, but also an increased um, kind of... Um, recognition of how safe the equipment is. While McLean's launch was without incidents, it was her return that went beyond what she expected because she was prepared mentally. But physically, it, it was such a roller coaster ride. It was it was actually if I knew how fun that was, I would I would lay the soys every day. <laughs> Jim, I tell you what.